Boy, no wonder this can get to be so addictive, this trading. Uh, great trade today uh, on the ES, this move down. Uh, we took this trade uh, earlier. We entered, uh, you see, we had, we had our vertical lines telling us of the crossovers, uh, the secondary and primary and secondary crossovers. We had a pullback to our trend dots, not quite to uh, the uh, anchored VWAP. Uh, we got on, got in with uh, two contracts on the ES, and uh, we had a daily profit target that we were looking for, and and uh, we had confirmation with our with our uh, sell volume versus buy volume. You can see we were at forty five hundred on the sell versus thirty seven hundred on the buy, so that looked good. Uh, what else? Uh, trend dots coming down, um, and uh, this is about. Uh, Let's see what this is about 10, I guess about five after 10 or so. And um, let me just bring up, uh, this is the live chart right here. And let's see, we've got another one. Oh, okay, you can see how this continued on down. Uh, and it's uh, based on the uh, long-term guppies. It's the structure of this with a nice slope to the downside. And also the spreading of those uh, moving averages. Uh, suggesting that we've got a sustained move in the making. And the key uh, that I try to keep in mind that I fail at more often than succeed at is uh, not overtrading and getting too greedy. Here's my, um, my goal is a half a percent growth per day because you can see that starting with a $25,000 account, very quickly you can grow that to some quite satisfactory uh, account sizes. Uh, but as uh, as you can see over here, I tend to overtrade even when I hit that daily target. So today's daily target uh, would have been uh, half a percent of the current balance of the account would have been just about three hundred dollars, and uh, we exceeded the half a percent. We were at zero point six four percent for three sixty nine, and this is when I should really close up shop and go out and uh, you know swing a few golf clubs or something. <laughs> But anyway, uh, a good start to the uh, to the day and should be a finish. And what I would expect to have happen from this point forward is some more retracements up, pullbacks, and then uh, confirmations of re-entries to the short side. Uh, we're still not uh, completed the first hour of trading. It's 10.16. And um, I really like to see that first hour of uh, the opening range uh, conclude and then establish a, a, a confirmed uh, bias direction. But uh, you can see our volume now is, is going to the upside. Here's the buy volume, here's the sell volume on this pullback. And uh, you would expect that volume to behave, behave that way as it's pulling back and hopefully uh, cocking the gun for another shot down.